Hey, what is up, guys? It is Alpha here, um, and today I, I'm going to be showing you how you can time lapse on one machine. Now, um, this is how I time lapse. Now, this there is a catch to this. Um, well, you kind of do need two Minecraft accounts if you want to do it on a multiplayer server, but um, you need to run two instances of Minecraft anyway because you can log in as player. Now, I already have two. I have two Minecraft accounts, so that's all right. I I use one that my friend uses. Um, so. Without further ado, let's begin. We, you need to download the two mods that I use now. Um, the multi-shot mod. Uh, this is a, like a different development of the multi-shot mod, but this is updated to Minecraft 1.4.5. So any instance of the multi-shot mod will work depending on what Minecraft version you use. But I'd recommend the multi-shot me mod because it's fully updated to Minecraft 1.5. So download that, and I use the camera studio mod. Now there is an inbuilt video recorder in the. Um, Cam Studio mod, but it uses a lot of like CPU and percentage of RAM on your system, so it's actually um, not good unless you have a good computer. Well, I I have a good computer, but I don't do it this way. Now uh, there is ways of doing it on one system, like with you know with one client, but um, yeah, this is the way I do it, and I th I believe you get a better effect from it doing it this way, and it's quicker and easier to do rather than trying to set up all angles with this. Um, so you download, the, just download the core of the mod. Don't download any uh, external features. That's fair enough. So, um, if you go into your Minecraft dot Minecraft, which you can find by going percent up data in the um, program fi program files search. If you're on a Mac, you go to um, library at library your name uh, application support then dot Minecraft is there this works both Mac and Windows so you go into your bin and you open minecraft.jar with WinRAR now Mac has a, a version of WinRAR that a different way of opening it up you open it in a zip file and it will open up in folders and then all you have to do is compress the file back to a jar um, it's nice and simple to do you'll be able to see it uh, there's, there's mods there, there's tutorials on how you can do that with a Mac but it does work with Mac um, so I, I used to have a Mac, so I know how to do it. I can't. It, you can remake something into a jar. So you want to open Minecraft with this. Now, obviously, you want to uh, you want to open these two, the Multishot mod and the Cam Studio mod. Now, all you want to obviously want to make sure you have a blank Minecraft. So I'm gonna do. Okay. Once your Minecraft is updated, um, or not updated, bl wiped out, blank. Uh, obviously, go into your Minecraft jar like I showed you before. Open it with. Um, I actually opened it with a Java program, not WinRAR there. <laughs> oh dear. Open up with WinRAR. And um, the mods are here. You literally just drag and drop everything across. And you add and replace. And you do the same with the camera studio, uh, the same with the multi shot me mod. You just drag it all across. And obviously, delete your meta.imp folder. So you don't crash when you load the game up. So those are the mods installed. Now if you're doing now this is the part where Mac and Windows are different. So um on tech on the tech it um launcher, this is what this is what I used to do to open up two versions of Minecraft. But on Windows, you can just open up two inches two instances of Minecraft at once. So there's one Minecraft and there's two Minecraft. On Mac you can't do this. So what I usually did was download the tech it launcher the Technic launcher and uh, drop, do the drop down to vanilla and load that up with vanilla so you will be building off the Technic launcher still works the same but you'll just be building off the Technic launcher okay so now that's over for Mac I'm just gonna log into my second account alright I'm just gonna dub over this bit quickly because um, I didn't really explain I didn't really explain this uh, fully um, I have two Minecraft accounts and a lot of you won't have two Minecraft accounts, so you can just click log in with a random account and password name, and then just click play offline, or play, or, yeah, and um, then you can join the LAN server still. Yeah, and you open it up to a LAN by you just go. See, the mods are installed. You'll see they're installed by because that thing will show up. Uh, open this to LAN. Game mode creative allow sheets on. Start LAN world, and then I can go into multiplayer. And there we go. Um, there's the LAN server, and you'll see my second account is joined. Now this second account is going to be the one that I used to record. Now I'm going to put the graphics on fancy on this one. 
And when I'm building, I normally turn my graphics down on the one I'm building on to revert any lag. Um, okay, so now how to use the mods. Um, so, what you're going to have to do is you need to set points in Cam Studio. So, first of all, like wherever I want the camera to go. So, let's say I want to just go up and pan around this jungle somewhere. So, let's go uh, Cam P1, or just Cam P even. You type slash Cam P. And you go up to where you want to go, slash Cam P. And I can come back down if I want to and go forward a little bit. Slash Cam P. You know, just you want to make a nice round circle. So you can depend how big you want your circle to be. So slash Cam P. And I can come down here like this and up like that or whatever. And I can come right down here and uh, possibly end up in the water end up in the water down here okay so that's all set up sorry about that um, now obviously you you want to be able to tab out and go to your other screen so you obviously open up your screen recorder recording the one on the right or the whatever one you want to record with and to start the time or to start the time lapse you need to type slash cam start and the amount of seconds you want it to take to go from position one all the way to position eight now a good number is 300 seconds depending on how big it is like if you have between 8 and 12 positions 200 or 300 so let's just go cam start 300 s and it's traveling started now to engage the multi shot mod so you can tab out you press the M button and then you can press F1 and you see I can tab over to this window and it's lagging a bit because obviously I've got two Minecraft open I'm not recording just one I'm recording both of them um, you see it's, co it's coming here and there's me on the you can see both screens there and it's doing the thingy now this is a time lapse and obviously if you want to do cinematics you do it faster but for time lapsing you can do this and it makes a nice rounded camera angle um, so I can be destroying this tree like this getting rid of the tree and get rid of the tree so it looks really nice as you can see the angle there it just looks really cool this mod now fire. a lot there's no good fire. YouTube tutorials on that I've seen fire. <laughs> people show going it into the water going down down okay so I'll catch up with you uh, in editing alright so this is a clip from earlier you see here now it's a little bit laggy. Uh, I apologise. That's because I was having two Minecraft Windows open once. You see how how it's slow and boring right now. You want to enter a time lapse. So I'm using Sony Vegas right now, and um, I'll actually move this along a bit. I'm using Sony Vegas and um, Sony Vegas Pro 11. Now it's different on a lot of programs how to speed this up. So you're going to have to YouTube or Google how you speed up in your given um, editing software. On Sony Vegas is simple, you hit, you hold control, hit the end of the clip and drag it down and that will speed it up to the maximum it can which I'm not sure how much it is. Now obviously it still looks a little bit boring and you see how that's going nicely, there's me destroying the tree, remember we saw that? Okay so we got that, now what I like to do is add some music into it or you can commentate over it but I add music and commentate on it over, as you saw in that video earlier. So um, I'm going to use an uncopyrighted song because obviously um, I don't want to put copyrighted stuff on my channel. So this is a song by Approaching Nirvana called Death of a King. Now Approaching Nirvana is a good composer to use. So now if we watch this, less boring, you see? I'll put a copy of the finished um, product at the end of the uh, whole video. Guys, uh, if don't be afraid to go back and watch it. If you have any questions about this, uh, inbox me on YouTube, or leave a comment, I'll get back to you. Um, remember to subscribe and I will see you next time.